The word retire means you can do anything you want from this day on. So if I desire to come back and play again, maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe that's the challenge that I may need someday down the road. And that day has arrived. Michael Jordan warming up at Market Square Arena more than three hours before today's scheduled tip-off. 21 months have passed since Michael Jordan last played competitive basketball. For 21 months, the NBA was without its supreme artist. Welcome to the coolest breakdown. I appreciate you tuning in. Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for me. So in this video, I'm going to give you and break down three reasons why you should never forget the 1994-95 Bulls season. Now, a quick disclaimer. Of course, nobody forgot when Jordan came back to the league. However, the actual 1994-95 Bulls NBA season as a whole is not talked about enough. So let's get to it. Reason number one, the 1994-95 Chicago Bulls team still maintaining some sort of relevance up until Jordan's return. Now, before Jordan's first game against the Pacers, the Bulls' record was 34-31, and and they were well within the playoff picture. <laughs> so, gotta credit Scottie Pippen and company again for honing it down for so long. And once MJ returned, the team finished 47-35 and in the regular season as the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference with the playoff berth. Reason number two, of course, Jordan's return to basketball, but more specifically, his famous double nickel game at Madison Square Garden. Of course, the Knicks and Bulls had a heated rivalry in the 90s. This game not only marked Jordan's big stage return to form in basketball, this is also the game that solidified him as one of the greatest scorers of all time. I mean, he was ripping through double teams like it was nothing. And to include perspective, he dropped 55 points against a Knicks team that had the highest defensive rating that 1994-95 season with 103.8. It's wild. And more importantly, the Bulls actually won this game in a close one. 113 to 111. Now, the third and final reason why we should never forget this season is the Bulls semi-Eastern Conference final series against the young and talented Orlando Magic team with future basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal and all-star Penny Hardaway, which were one of the best basketball duos at that time. Now, this Orlando Magic team had the best record in the Eastern Conference and were coming off their first win of a playoff series in franchise history where they closed out the legendary Boston Garden. Each game was competitive and three of Orlando's four victories, they actually trailed with less than three minutes to play. The Magic's sharpshooting and front court ended up being way too much for this Bulls team. This Orlando Magic squad was the last team to eliminate Michael Jordan's Bulls. Now you can make an argument that it was this specific playoff exit that ignited Jordan to lead his team to another three straight championship run. 
Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. <laughs> I'm out. Peace.